Okay, it is Friday morning. Uh, May, I don't know what day it is in May today. I know it's Friday, that's probably a good start. It's the, oh, look at that, last day of May. Woohoo! We planted a little bit of corn one day this week. I can't remember what day it was uh, before we got rained out. So we slid another 50 acres in. So right now we're about 60% planted on corn. Uh, and as I said, it's Friday today. So I haven't videoed much this week, to be honest. It's been a pretty frustrating week. Uh, I'm feeling frustrated. I not being able to do field work and stuff like that. So I've been doing some other jobs and I haven't really been videoing much because uh, I'm a grumpy SOB right now. And uh, I think I'm like many other farmers who are struggling a little bit, uh, trying to get crop in and trying to stay positive. And we keep saying ourselves that we got time. Back in April, I said, uh, oh, don't worry. We got the month of May. <laughs> now I'm, May's the last day today, as I said, and it's June. Uh, and the forecast sucks, completely sucks. And it's not even just the rain, it's the temperatures that have me a little apprehensive. We got uh, two days in a row, uh, Monday, Monday and Tuesday or Sunday, Monday, or I think Monday, Tuesday next week, they're talking a high of 12, 12 fricking degrees and a low of two at night. And our wheat, our winter wheat, that actually looks respectable because we were, we were lucky. We got it in early last year, so it looks pretty decent. It's in the boot stage, so it's very sensitive to frost. So I'm crossing my fingers we don't get a stupid frost next week because we actually don't need something to wreck a good crop. But uh, not trying to have a pity party, just uh, the challenges of farming. So it's making it really difficult this year. Keep telling yourself why you do it. And we love what we do, and that's why we do it. But yeah, it's just been one of the biggest challenges uh, that I've seen. So we're going to try to plant corn today. Uh, you know, I, we kept saying uh, the ground needed to be fit, but uh, we're doing the quote unquote uh, plant 2019 <laughs> fit. So I'm gonna run the strip freshener on uh, some soybean stubble to see how it works. That'll give me an indication of uh, how far the soil is away from being able to plant. My goal is to maybe get 85 acres planted today before uh, more rain comes in tonight. To talking half an inch of rain tomorrow, uh, which could be it for us on corn. The reason I'm getting a little concerned about corn is not the date so much, it's the long range forecast. Uh, it's just not warm. Uh, I follow a long range uh, prediction uh, weather service as well that, you know, they're pretty accurate for the most part, but it just, uh, I don't see a warm up for us. Maybe a warm, warmer in July and August, which is typical for us, but I just don't see that heat that I think we need to wrap or finish a corn crop and not to, to kind of give up on the crop before we got in the ground. I just, we have to be aware of the risks we have in terms of an early frost and not having corn mature. But we gotta balance that off with maybe getting soybeans in the ground that will mature uh, and we'll have a decent crop with them. So we're gonna focus, uh, as I said, on corn today and hopefully we can get those acres planted and we'll go from there. <laughs> planter we got uh, 8.75 acres accomplished to date just getting the dry fertilizer figured out here it was nice because I ordered a load of fertilizer that was small enough that would fit in the whole lorry cart and I found out that uh, the cart was reading heavy which I kind of suspected but I wasn't horribly worried um, because our fertility is really good for the most part it's the nitrogen uh, that I wanted more than anything. I can fix that because nitrogen we got, we're doing a side dress later, so uh, I can top up. I have a rough idea that we probably put 
30 pounds to start her down a van instead of the 45 we were going for. Uh, the P&K is a little light, but as I said, our sewing tests are pretty good. So I think now we're getting about 169 pounds per acre on that we want. Uh, so I'm happy about that. I don't know if you can see it. I believe there's dust. Who knew? It's still probably not super ideal. Uh, this field will be wrapped up here shortly. And I'm gonna go down to one that, uh, it's uh, virgin strips from last fall. We'll try to get it planted. I'm in a little 37 acre field, 36 acre field, and we're trying to get wrapped up. Conditions are less than, well, I don't know what to say. Conditions are 2019 conditions. Uh, not horrible uh, today, not ideal. I'm just kind of pushing a few more acres because I'm afraid of the rain that they're talking about tomorrow and then they're talking cool, which doesn't really help dry out much. Uh, and then a shot of rain again. So I'm just kind of like, if we can get 75% of our corn planted, I'd be pretty happy. What I'm trying to do today is get a couple of these fields that I planted half already and I was trying to get the other half to dry out uh, but this one piece I'm in now around the bush it's wet it's not gonna get dry because there's no tile there uh, but there's tile everywhere else in the field and it was uh, it's actually pretty good uh, the other farm I planted it got a little tacky in the last two acres so I'm not really loving last little bit that got planted there and the farm I finished up across the road where the drone was flying there it uh, actually planted pretty good too so most of it was pretty good uh, not quite as ideal as I'd like to see it at the same time we're trying to get corn planted here uh, sooner than later so uh, we're gonna kind of maybe push the conditions and uh, you know I would say the fields are you know 90 85 to 90 percent good so I don't know it is what it is it's 2019 a seed in the ground is a victory so we're just gonna hopefully keep on trying to win these small battles 
Anyways, so I'll talk to you when I get uh, wrapped up this field. Only got another, uh, I don't know, 20 acres left. Finished up that 36 acres, ran out of dry fertilizer with probably about eight acres left. I did improper math. I think I figured it out that I wasn't gonna plant that 16 acres that I probably shouldn't have, uh, but I did. And then that cut me short on that field there. So I ran out, I have to go out and do 28 on the field across the road that I planned the other night, the 50 acres there that I didn't get, uh, I didn't have dry fertilizer, I just ran liquid. Something else happened, my liquid pump puked out. I couldn't get any liquid fertilizer, so I have to look at that in the morning. Uh, we'll see what happens with the weather, but uh, anyways, we're doing okay. And we'll see if we can keep at it. Uh, I'm not sure what the rest of these fields are gonna be like. Probably be a little too wet, but. We'll see what morning brings. Well, that's gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. I'm tired, I'm gonna go to bed, so good night.